Hi folks, Katie here at Alba Astro and I'm trying something new for my YouTube channel and basically what it is, is I'm going to be inviting special guests onto the channel and not just to discuss some astro but also to get an insight to who these people really are away from the astronomy side. And with that in mind, our special guest tonight is the Helena Cochrane <laughs> from Helena's Astro. Hi, Helena. Hello. How are, How are we? You? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm all right if you're all right. Excellent. So what's the weather like down your neck of the woods? Dreech. Dreech. Horrible. For anyone that's not had... Scottish, dreech means horrendous weather not disgusting good. how Never. many clear nights have we had in the last month <laughs> oh gosh um actually do you know what i think i've had two in about six you, weeks to be honest you've been out on them all though so yeah I've, kudos I've, to you um, for that yeah i've pushed myself to do it um Aye. just because clear nights have become so rare um so basically, Helena, as I was just telling everyone there, um, we're going to do some sharing of images. We're going to find out, obviously, a lot of people you've been interviewed on many, many occasions. And it's always the same thing. How did you get into astro? How, you know, what? where do you see yourself in the astronomy field five, ten years from now? But what I want to do, at this present moment in time is actually let the people know who the real Helena is. Now, I know myself due to <laughs> myself, Helena and Amber, we are part of a trio called Scott's Lastro on Instagram. And uh, we, we go on a lot of road trips. We try to do as many as we can in the space of you know, the the uh, astro seasons and even meet up outside of these times just for some fun. <laughs> and although the generation gaps is, it's it's crazy, you know, um, it all works and it all knits. Would you, you don't think about it at all. No, no absolutely. Don't. You astro don't think Disney about have it at all. that age. And no. if, you base, <laughs> if you base this on our last trip, we had so much fun. No astronomy was shot. No imaging. <laughs> None whatsoever because the weather didn't oh. allow it. But I don't think I've had a more fun weekend. Uh, it was dancing, good. Singing and carrying on. Um, mm -hmm. And even just being down the Scottish borders, um, getting to do some sightseeing and how good was that living museum down in Beamish. So good. That, that was is... unreal. I knew it was going to be good, but yeah. when we went, it was unreal. And I think that just shows like how like like strong our friendship is because yeah. we don't have to be doing astro when we're together to be having a good time. At that is all. so true. That is the beauty. And most of our trips, we've been quite lucky with the weather. So to be fair, we have done astro on a fair number of them, even if it's like been between clouds and stuff. Yeah. Amber's been running in and out with her tracker. Uh -huh. <laughs> you packed it in. And I'm, <laughs> and, and Amber's running in and out with her tracker. But I think that last weekend was the first one that we hadn't done any. And it was really nice to just relax and just it be was, together. It was mm. different because th th this is going to sound silly, but it, it, it let us know that it's, you know, even though the weather wasn't good, we've been forced mm. to stay indoors. Um, it was just an automatic fun reaction. We had so Absolutely. many laughs. And, um, you know, it, what I like is all our personalities are so different, but mm. so similar. But also so similar, I was going to say that. It, yeah. It's kind of contradictory, but it is true. Mm. Um, Obviously, I'm the old mother owl, mother hen. <laughs> um, I keep my eye on the, the younger <laughs> two of uh, the group. But when we all get together, it's such a laugh. Now, 
as you all know, folks, Helena is, you know, still at school. Uh, she's about to finish up her academic year in high school. And she's going to be moving on to university. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Amber? <laughs> I know, I can. And um, that, that's going to be really exciting because I remember uni and uh, you're going to make some amazing friendships. And I know for a fact that you're not giving up any astral while you're at uni. Mm -hmm. So would you like to explain to the people why that is what you are going to be doing? Well, so I'm unfortunately moving a lot closer to Katie and Amber. <laughs> <laughs> going to be like what 40 50 minutes down the road something like that I'm yeah. going to study at the University of Stirling and I'm going to be studying Excellent. film production and the reason I love film so much um my love for film was really sparked by my YouTube videos and making my YouTube videos and just sitting in front of the camera and having a gab really about yeah. astro and stuff that I love and I really like the production side of it so I kind of took that a step further and started making my videos a little bit more cinematic when I'm mm -hmm. going out doing my imaging sessions things like that because that's the kind of path that interests me so um, it's a really good opportunity to be learning more things at uni about film production that I can put into my videos mm -hmm. so Astro is definitely not going to be stopping when I'm at uni I also want to make um, like my Astro kit in general a lot more portable yeah as you'll know uh, because carrying around a telescope in the middle of the night is not necessarily the best idea when you're in the middle of nowhere and you're wanting to have the motivation to get outside and actually do astrophotography, especially when I'm moving away to a place that I don't really know yet. So having a camera and a tripod or a star tracker like the Star Adventurer, something yeah. like that to put my kit on, which I already have, which is really good, mm -hmm. um, will be brilliant so i'll be able to show another side to astro really which will be really nice that's fantastic now you're saying you know the that what you're going to be doing in uni how are you going to apply that once you've finished uni are you going to go into you know the cinematic world of movies or tv politics what, what you know what, what route do you fancy going down good question um so I really, I've done some work with Kielder Observatory recently, well, fairly, fairly recently, and I'm going to be starting up with them hopefully in the summer again. So along those lines, I kind of want to work with observatories and public outreach, science communication, that kind of thing, to get young, especially young people or anyone really into astrophotography and astronomy, or not even astrophotography, just make them more aware of how cool space is and what we do so I think that'll be really cool and I want to travel a lot with it and it's something that allows you to travel a lot uh, which is really nice um yeah. going back to what you were saying about us three going across Scotland it's a very nice opportunity to be going anywhere and everywhere really and I think we make the most of that definitely and I was thinking actually when you were saying there like in the little time that we've all known each other we have been to quite a few places we have. Just in the one country, we've yeah, covered a lot of ground. We have actually been speaking um, about maybe going abroad for, mm -hmm. you know, just a long weekend um, yep. to do some Milky Way and get the core and the role of the UK. Um, mm. So it would be like going to maybe Malta or Tenerife which Lovely. is the most amazing place to do astronomy. You've been, haven't you? You've been to Tenerife, yeah. I've been a lot of times, yeah. I've been to Tenerife mm. quite a few times. Um, unfortunately, when I was going in the beginning, I wasn't doing any mm -hmm. astronomy. Uh, I was actually out partying. Oh, were you not? No, it's only, <laughs> <laughs> only the last oh. time I was there, two years ago, I actually mm. went and d I took my star tracker and mm -hmm. my modded dslr and mm -hmm. we were away up mount teddy getting the milky way um Brilliant. what what i would say is is when you're up there you just let your camera run and just mm. leave it because you are in awe when you see Absolutely. the 
guy. It's just it's mm. mind blowing. Um and that's why I said that we're going to maybe try and do like a long weekend, like going for three three nights, something like that. Right. Um, flying out, flying back, and just doing astronomy in between and doing some sightseeing during the day because you can get some really good deals. And that's why I, I'm so glad that what you're going to be doing at uni will give you that mm. life opportunity where you can go anywhere on the planet and do mm. what you love doing. And even if you decide that you don't want to do astronomy full time, this this mm -hmm. will always be with you, no matter what. Oh, absolutely, no. Definitely. And that's that, mm -hmm. you know, I wish I could go back, you know, a couple of decades ago. And I know I, mm -hmm. I don't regret anything what I've done in, you know, till present day, if I'll be honest. But had I the opportunity to do what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. you know, I think, well, would have appreciated it the same. Mm -hmm. Whereas you've had that appreciation since mm. you were a toddler, really. I um, mean, mm -hmm. you were a young kid. I mean, it's only, what, 10 years ago when you were part of the BBC program where they, they built your den. How far away was that? Six, six years ago. I'm not that old, Katie. Six years ago, <laughs> even there you go. But I, still, six yeah. is a fair amount of time. Correct. And you look how far you've came from that. Just with your YouTube channel alone, the you have mm. what what twenty odd, twenty plus thousand followers. Mm. I mean, that's amazing for a young woman who's only eighteen. Absolutely fantastic. I do wish I could put more time into it though. Like that is one thing that is really frustrating with school, um, when you have to prioritise school. But unfortunately, it does have to be done. But at the end <laughs> of the day, education is more important just now because uh, your yeah, YouTube absolutely. channel you can go back to any time. Uh, it will always be there. You know, you yeah. do what's what's the right thing first, and that's get your education sorted, mm -hmm. and then you can apply mm -hmm. anything else to your YouTube. I think you'll mm. always have loyal followers, that's for sure. Mm. You know, like mm -hmm. you're allowed to take time out and um, allowed to enjoy yourself and immerse yourself, obviously, in your studies. And Absolutely. Exams. So I know, and I think that's really important to realise when you take on something like YouTube yeah. and you need to, like, separate life from doing something like that and not yeah. get too caught up in and like pressurize with like I have to put out a video a week. No. Yeah. Like that's when it starts becoming work and not fun. And for me, astrophotography is not my work. It might be in the future. Um it might or something close, but right now it's not. And I don't think that that added pressure is needed. No. And I think that's that's really nice. Well you're right because when it becomes a chore there's yeah. something wrong you it's lost its mm. meaning for you and it's fun mm -hmm. so you know and I I grew up with the motto you know if you get a job doing what you love it will never mm. be a job it'll always be That's you know true. A, a, it's fun you, mm -hmm. you get to That's do what true. you love doing and yep. I've uh, instilled that in my own kids as well you know mm. like do what you enjoy in life because Absolutely, you know yeah. you're hoping that you don't have to you know uh live to work you work to mm. live type thing yep. mm -hmm. that's the difference but in between that you've still got to have a social life you've still got mm. to you know just unwind let your hair down so when you have these times when you're coming out of your exams and you're all stressed to the hill. What do you do to unwind and relax apart from meet up with me and Amber? <laughs> Meeting <laughs> up with you and Amber isn't winding down, that's winding up. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good very true. What do I do to relax? Oof. Is this not including going out and stargazing and things like that? Not no, I'm taking astronomy out of it just now, just to get right. What do you what do personally aside from astro? Because obviously you can only do that in the evening. 
So what do you That's do true. during the day, at the weekends, just to unwind away from the school? <laughs> now, let me think, what do I actually do? Um, I like to watch a good show. Like sitting back with a nice cup of tea watching a good show might sound boring, but after a very stressful week, it is a lovely thing to do. Binge watch. Like binge watch, absolutely. Once I get hooked on a series, that's me. Like I'm mm. very dedicated to finishing it. Love calling you and Amber. <laughs> I know you said take that out of it, but no, I can't do that. Because uh, we call almost every weekend. Yeah. Really, Maybe if a personal um, relationship is well there, the astral side, you know. So that's it. Being blessed with that. Spend some time with mother and father is always a good one. Yeah. Because when I'm lovely. away at school, I, they are they're they're all right. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm away. <laughs> <They're all right>. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're brilliant. When I'm away at school during the day, it's really like it's not nice, like not being um at home. So it's really nice to come home and spend time with them when yeah. I can. When I'm not. I am normally, to be honest, shut away in my room a lot of the time doing my work. But when I'm not doing my work, it's really nice yeah. to see them. What else do I do? I, I think that's about it. I do yeah. I do keep quite busy. Yeah, but, um, but you are in quite a small little town. Um, are, very yes. picturesque little town. It's absolutely stunning. It's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I would say... Um, when you when you live in a small area like that, whereas mm. Amber lives in Glasgow, yeah, very I know, busy, busy city, mm. four hours mm. a day. I'm like you. Um, I'm out in the countryside, although I'm built mm. up a bit more. Um, mm -hmm. but no, I, I I can understand that. You know, like time's precious. Your your time with your family is always going to be precious, and you've got a great set of parents. I love both. Mm. Joyce oh and yeah. Um, they are brilliant. They're very supportive they of what I do. Very, which, very supportive. Which parents. is unreal. Yeah. Yeah. They're fabulous. And um, so you're very, very lucky in that respect. And then she's got Sula, her cat. So, <laughs> yeah, poor Sula. Yeah. Uh, poor Sula. <laughs> poor Sula. So at least now we're getting, you know, to let people see that there is a fun side to you. You're always very bubbly, smiley. Um, I don't think I've ever actually seen you otherwise. What you see is what you get with you, you know? Nice. <laughs> no, but it's true. No, but, well, that's the thing. But also, like, when I have, like, a worry or something or when I'm feeling a little bit down or something like that, like, I do, I can come to you in Amber. Like, yeah. you're like yeah. mum and dad. Like, I'll always go to mum and dad, but I'll always, like, send you a wee voice note being like, oh, like, this is how the week's been. And you would do the same. And we'd that's be there true. for each other kind of thing. And that's yeah. lovely. Like, I love just having that yeah. and just being able to, like, to just soundboard off of... We are know, very blessed because then you get it from different points of view, different uh -huh. perspectives. Absolutely. And obviously, the, the end result is whatever you decide to do, but you've at uh -huh. least got choices. And it's so nice to hear from, like, folks that have different experience. Like, that's what Wally always says. That it's a lovely yeah. about us three, that we all have different experiences and we're all from different places, all doing different things. And I think yeah. that's really important as well. That is um, very true. And yeah. um, it is amazing. My husband just thinks the world of you. You know that anyway. Um, I well, think the world of Wally. We actually <laughs> have an amazing group. We really do, mm, not just the series, but with Amber's husband, my husband, and your mum and dad. We just All our families very, gelled very really well. They have. Everyone gels. It's been amazing that way. Um, mm. We now just see you as family. You're not just Aye. Helen and I anymore. You know, you're no, just it's part different. of the family. Yeah. That's that's the truth. Now, Absolutely. getting on to the astronomy side of things, um, the picture in the background Explain that to people, Helena. I've, I've just realised that it's actually backwards. <laughs> so <laughs> it's flipped it around. I've no idea why. So this is um, the full arch of the Milky Way. So on the right-hand side, you've got, um, well, my, the right-hand side on when you're looking at it, you've got the Heart and Soul Nebula um, in the middle, if I move my head. <laughs> yeah. You've got the elephant's trunk you've got cygnus butterfly nebula all of that good stuff and then the main event which is why you came down to get this uh, on the left is the milky way core 
I can't remember how many degrees of the Milky Way core you could see coming down here. Was it two? I think it was two, just over two, 2.1, 2.2. 2. Something, something um, like that. Yeah. So I remember you, it was just before, it was like the week before my exams were starting and you gave me a text and you were like, I'm coming down to get the Milky Way. That's right. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, so that's we right, met up yeah. uh, for a weekend and we went out, this was at like three o'clock in the morning, I think we were getting this photo because at that point it was taking quite a while to get dark and we drove out to this lovely church called Cruggleton Church yeah, and fantastic. we we shot the Milky Way over it which was lovely and that was lovely you made some very um scary horse noises which I... scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> when you were in the it car so having a snap in a bag it's so dark <laughs> it was pitch That's, black yeah. no it was lovely and we found a little cottage actually along that road that, that looked we did. Um, like a really nice place to stay so no that was a fabulous night so that's yeah where, that's I where that photo do came that from. again next month no, maybe should. do that again yeah, yeah. uh yeah we're oh, always no, we scouting that. out for places that we can stay at um mm. right um i've just had a notification that i'm running out of time here so oh no what I'm oh, it says to... in the the top time left eight eight minutes eight minutes and change so what i'm going to nice. do is get helena just to show us some of our images before we run out of time folks and then we'll wrap it up um so lovely the, the milky way image fantastic one of my favorites uh the amount of detail you got in it was it's got good memories behind it that's what yeah. i love about the photos like you can yeah. tell like all of the photos since i met you and amber like they all have memories behind them it's just it's got a different feel to it the vulgar story. um They've all got stories. That's the yeah. thing. Well, I'll, I'll do a wee. I'll do a wee screen share. Yeah, go for like it. Let's... Go for it. Can we see that? I love that. I truly, truly love that. It just... um, let's Thank have a look. So this was the Orion Nebula. Mm -hmm. Um, it's quite diff. The, the thing I was about to say the only thing I like about the picture, um, but one of the things I like about the picture is, uh, can you see my mouse moving? I can. Uh, I can see the yeah, yeah the trapezium. Yeah. So the the trapezium inside normally in a lot, it's really difficult to not blow that out. So I was really mm -hmm. pleased that I wasn't. I think that's the first picture of Orion I've taken that I, I didn't blow that out. So that was really nice. That's that was beautiful. with my uh, so soft and flowy. It was with the, uh, that's because it's with the mono camera and it's just brilliant. I mean, you know about mono, yeah. how just lush the data is that comes out. It, it. is. It brings um, out so much it more is lush. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, Really love the pink. I wish I'd got more time on it. It needs more time to get dust in the back. But that is definitely a favourite. Um, Let's have a wee look. What else have we got here? Oh, here, this is, a, I'll show you this because... This is an example of an image I've taken with the portable rig. Mm. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Yeah, the I, comet. That was the comet that was quite recent. A month yeah. ago now, I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, so that was taken with the wide field set up and 135 millimetre lens wow. that I want to take to uni. So it's really, oh. it's, like a, it's a set up that you can pick up in one hand. Do you know what I mean? And that is just brilliant because see when you take out the aspect of heavy weight lifting and all of that mm -hmm. sweating about the place in the middle of the yeah. night it really becomes more enjoyable like it really does so, yeah at I least keep for saying me that. anyway i want to yeah. get a 135 millimeter. Oh, you do don't you yeah, yeah. No, you i've been saying it for a while i really should just you bite have. the bullet because it's a great wide field but the detail mm. everything in it and plus it's it's a fantastic lens, you know, for mm. so many other different it types is good. of photography. It's brilliant. You know, but it is fabulous. No, it's brilliant. Fantastic and... shot, and you've got a great part of the tail there as well. One more that I've got is bumper on. One of the first, oh, it's quite zoomed in, that. Oh, well, we've got um, oh, the Whirlpool. Yeah. And that was one of my first galaxies that I ever took. And that was with a colour camera. And that's when I realised that 
because there's obviously the whole debate between colour and mono, right? And yeah. when we live in Scotland, like it is, it's quite, even though the data is better, arguably mm-hmm. with mono, and you don't have to take as much of it, it yeah. is sometimes quite a chore and quite timely to, to go through the process of um, switching filters and editing and things like that. And when there's like dust on the individual filters and you have to take different flat frames, I, I hate that. I can't do it. It's awful. So this what? was taken with a colour camera. And uh, what so that else? Really was it a scope me. or was it the a This zoom? was the, oh no, this was the Esprit 120, the 120. Skywalker. Oh, so, um, so lovely. I, you no, know, you need to get an Esprit. That is fantastic. Yeah, lovely scope. The colours are amazing. Um, and so as that, you say, because we don't get a lot of time. No. So, yeah, no. I, you know, a lot of people don't want to be mucking about with mono at that because uh-huh. we, the weather's so changeable and it's um, mm. unpredictable here in Scotland and has been well, for a few thing. years now. But, yeah, yeah that is fantastic. Absolutely. I'm thinking now, actually, we're coming out of the the season now for Astro, well, which baffles my mind because it just goes uh, in so quickly. Yeah. Well, you're coming out, uh, you're now in the galaxy season and... Yep. And come May, it'll be the Noctilucent Clouds, which is That's fantastic. It. But between now and the end of April, we've mm. got every chance of catching the northern lights if we get yep. a proper clear night Coming for it. Coming into solar from... maximum. Yeah. yeah. But um, other than that, come May, we're in constant twilight again until September. Mm. So, yeah. But listen, Helena, this has been fantastic and I can't thank you enough for being oh. my first guest on oh, this new venture that I'm trying I'm out. I'm very excited. I'm very excited me to too. see all of your me new too. videos. Thank oh, you very much for having me on. Thank you very much for coming on and I hope all you have enjoyed this, folks. And if you do and you want to see more like this, please, you know, give the youtube channel a wee subscribe Subscribe. and leave me a wee comment let me know if you've enjoyed this and you want me to continue it helena thank you again take care everyone until the next time thank you bye